August 8th from Book of Meditations and Thoughts for the Day for Every Day in the Year by James Allen. This is recorded to celebrate the 8th anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Algie Pug. August 8th. Thought for the Morning. Man is made or unmade by himself. In the armoury of thought he forges the weapons by which he destroys himself. He also fashions the tools with which he builds for himself heavenly mansions of joy and strength and peace. By the right choice and true application of thought man ascends to the divine perfection. By the abuse and wrong application of thought he descends below the level of the beast. Between these two extremes are all the grades of character, and man is their maker and master. As a being of power, intelligence, and love, and the lord of his own thoughts, man holds the key to every situation. Meditation for the Day To become possessed of a knowledge of the law of love, to enter into conscious harmony with it, is to become immortal, invincible, indestructible. It is because of the effort of the soul to realize this law that men come again and again to live, to suffer and to die, and when realized suffering ceases, personality is dispersed, and the fleshly life and death are destroyed, for consciousness becomes one with the eternal. The law is absolutely impersonal and its highest manifested expression is that of service. When the purified heart has realized truth, it is then called upon to make the last, the greatest and holiest sacrifice, the sacrifice of the well-earned enjoyment of truth. It is by virtue of this sacrifice that the divinely emancipated soul comes to dwell amongst the lowliest and least, and to be esteemed the servant of all mankind. The spirit of love is alone singled out as worthy to receive the unstinted worship of posterity. Thought for the Evening Whatsoever you harbour in the inmost chambers of your heart will, sooner or later, by the inevitable law of reaction, shape itself in your outward life. Every soul attracts its own, and nothing can possibly come to it that does not belong to it. To realize this is to recognize the universality of divine law. If thou wouldst right the world and banish all its evils and its woes, make its wild places bloom and its drear deserts blossom as the rose, then right thyself. End of August 8th From Book of Meditations and Thoughts for the Day For Every Day in the Year By James Allen